We now return to Let's Play Conan Exiles. Alright, so before we head back over to our other base here, I think I've got enough materials in here now that I can upgrade. Yes, I do. Upgrade that. It'll take a little while. So, we'll come back eventually. Right now, though. So one thing I've discovered is that uh, my people uh, that I had just set to not follow and whose status was scouting, um, when I logged back in, they went back into guard mode in the last place that I had them guarding, which is the base over here. So that's all right. On there, that's fine. I gained a level. I'm more interested in my follower gaining a level, however, so they can increase his stamina. Well, hold on a minute. Her, her stamina. Um, genitals are actually very prominent in here for your horses, so. Definite, definite way to tell. All right, I want you to come up here so that the wandering, wandering guy over there doesn't attack you while you're on the ground. Maybe, maybe I better build a ramp or something. Anyway, so over here, uh, I've got the ingredients now for. No, I've actually got those. Um, I've got. I need two of those, so I need two jars. Two jars. Two tars. Make those. And then we will make... I need stick and... One of those. Two, I need two. I need two of them. Alright. We'll make an exploding trap here. Why not? And we'll go ahead and put back all the things that I don't need. Just keep it clean here. A bit more. I guess I used them both. Okay. Um, I did manage to get a little bit more blood here. So we can upgrade the tome one more time. Uh, right, okay, so let's go test these out. I guess I'll read the things first. So, lure an enemy into a trap. Direct confrontation is not the only way to deal with an enemy. Sometimes you realize it pays to be smarter. You've often considered traps with spring-loaded mechanisms that w could be used to trigger death on those who dare to trespass in your home. Try to time to put those thoughts into action and then use an explosive... You've heard of alchemical powders from Kitai that can be used to cause great explosions and fire in the sky, but has never gained impetus in the Hyborian kingdoms due to a scarcity of the resources required to create it. Here in the Exiled Lands, however, the ingredients are plentiful. You want to craft an explosive of your own. You want to blow something up. So, these could be used against boss creatures, however, they're rather unreliable and kind of difficult to make work appropriately here. See if we can just pull up a tree right away here. So you plunk that down, and then you hit E to use it, and then you get the hell out of the way. Hmm. And it did not fell the tree. Okay. It is spreading fire though. Um Okay, and then this other one we will put that down, and we will bait our enemies over here. No ammo. This isn't going to work so well with you, really, because you are an archer. So 
maybe I can grab your friend instead. Did I miss? One shot kill there, so come on, come on. There we go. I'll take that. So, yeah, um, setting up a, a trap corridor against something like a dragon might be good. Might be one of the best ways to take that down. We're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. Uh, use an explosive. The satisfying boom of the explosion still rings in your ears. The raw power of the powder is enough to smash walls and bring down forts and castles. Oh, the destruction you will leave in your wake. And this one... There's absolute delight in watching a plan execute itself perfectly. In this case, the trap works flawlessly. Triggered by the weight of the attacker, it fired off with devastating effect. Okay, what else do we have here? Surviving a sandstorm. I can't do that until it randomly happens. We can go explore the unnamed city. Surviving a purge, I'm going to have to build that myself. Attuning to an obelisk. Creating a map room, got to go there first. Equipping a raider armor piece. I think I can make those. I think I, I think I have them unlocked. Let's look here. Raider armors, yes. So I, I can actually make one. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Do that. Their culture is feared across the Thurian continent for the ferocity of their raids upon neighboring kingdoms, Shemite and Stygian slavers riding, raiding each other and their neighbors to the north and south, and from the far east, the mysterious Kambujans, who set forth from their jungle kingdom. You know that to establish yourself here, regardless of whether you are a raider or not, you need to borrow some of the fear that comes with their image. At least you get three choices. All right. Do I have Kombujin? So here, if I wanted actual, like, sorceress-looking stuff, I could craft myself a Kombujin armor set. that not count? Yeah, well, I'll keep I'll keep this thing anyway. Um, oh yeah, that's something else I was gonna do. God damn it! One thing at a time. Take that off. Put that in here. Let's run over here real quick because I have a bunch of stuff that I'm just not gonna need. And this hardened sword, especially, I want to break apart because. Perhaps, if I'm lucky, it'll give me hardened steel. Gave me five hardened steel. Excellent. Uh, I don't have... I, I've got tools, but I don't have a weapon yet. I guess I can just look at weapons. So a hardened steel war axe would do 40 damage, as opposed to my current... No, oh, it does... Well, it does 40 with the buff, so it would do more damage. Um, uh, afterward. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's, uh... That one looks kind of cool. That's actually a nice accent there. I kind of like that, though. Let's use that one. So it would have been this color. Hold up. Let's look. So I left the white, I took the gray. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, it, it's alright. That one you can't tell at all. Let's put the die there. At least now I have a little bit of a color scheme going. Okay. Um, come up here. So I need another sorceress page, but now that I've got papyrus and inking brushes, I can work towards making something here. Oh, it's an actual sorceress page this time. Good. I don't know what the uh, gems... Raise the dead and call of the dead. I don't know what the gems signify in particular. Raise the dead. I need a shallow grave. Placement of a shallow grave allows quick reanimation. Okay. Should we try it? Kind of why we're here, right? Compost. Eventually, it will actually behoove me to just centralize everything, or make actual duplicates so that everything is in each base, so I do not have to keep doing this. But we are kind of, kind of limited to just being down here. I would very much like to move out of the beginner area of the map and uh, head to an area that we can s establish our... Oh! Oh! The beam! The beacon is lit! Because we now have a, a tier 3... kidding me? Because we have a tier 3... Um, religious shrine... altar, whatever... Um, that beam... glows. Mostly as an indication to other players so that they know, hey, wait a minute. This base is one step away from being able to summon gods. But now that I think about it, while I'm over here, this might work out alright anyhow. Because I might be able to upgrade my, my dagger now. Alright, there it is. What can we do now? Blessed Durketto's Kiss. So let's put my Durketto's Kiss in there. Thankfully that one didn't seem to have to be fully repaired. And now we have this better one, I guess. I can also make Lust Taker, if I had Star Metal, would do a little bit more damage. Um, that would be interesting. I guess I'll save Star Metal if I ever find any. Where? Here. Take, I'll take a bunch of that. Um, okay. I can make two of these. The dark arts, the very soil in which the dead rest, is a principal component of reanimation. The placement of a shallow grave allows a connection between the necromancer and the recently departed, promoting quick reanimation. Alright. Um, I do not know what this is going to entail. I'm imagining, you know what? You hang out here for a moment. I will be back. I saw those guys run over there to kill that crocodile again, and it's possible that they got killed again. And I may not even be able to put this down just because uh, you have restrictions upon where you can place stuff near. Blacksmith too. You know what? I'll take you. Oh, 
All right, all right, come on. All right. Do not disappear on me. Let's put that down first. Uh, Be thankful that you are not the one that got sacrificed. All right, and now as for you, so how does this work? Sorcerer performs a dark ritual to reanimate a corpse placed within the shallow grave. So, how do I gain a corpse? Can I maybe turn one into a corpse? Life, death, Sleep and death. death. Abuse the soul with an illumination. I need better corruption. I wonder... Do we do a live burial? That would be weird. I don't know how else to get a corpse, though. Or is it player corpses? But you can't pick up players, either. But... That's the only kind of corpse. Unless... And I highly doubt this. Unless we can place it next to... There is no combat-capable human. All right. Well, let's head back to here. And I will poke my head out for a minute, and I'll find out how this works. I, I wanted to open your inventory. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, yes indeed, it does appear to be a live burial. So, I came up back over here. Uh, we're gonna put the smith in there. Unfortunately, I, I think we're not getting extras here. Not because she's only level 2, although level 3 I think is a requirement, but because she's Zingaran, and I don't think there are any specific special Zingaran weapons uh, she can make. Anyway, so let's Oh, that's a rabbit. I thought, I thought that was my my whipping boy over here. Billy, I haven't responded yet. Or it's wandering. Are they wandering over here? No, let's get let's get a few here. Huh? Oh, now now you're coming. So, the whole, um... The whole live burial thing doesn't make any damn sense. I mean, like, why, why not just make them a companion if I have to take them alive, you know? Why raise them as a zombie? Especially because the zombie uh, apparently doesn't allow an inventory just like the other stuff. Um, it only attacks with its hands. Now let's try it. It does come maxed out at level 20. 
Um, okay, I guess maybe that's why you would want it. However, if you actually look at its stats, they suck. So, how good is that, really? Oh, now it's following me. Okay. Well, in that case... Shall we go get some more? Cannot move there. What are you doing? I mean, these are these are basic. Oh, hey, is that just colorant? That's just colorant. Um, it's a basic monster, but and is its health going down over time? Does it deteriorate? No, it's actually going back up. All right. Well, uh, you know, maybe maybe this would not be so bad. Actually, having ooh, I wonder how well would fare. You know what? Come with me. I wonder how well this would fare against the big crocodile. I'm going to I'm going to test how well you work and then we're going to see how well f and uh, estimate, I guess, <laughs> how well 4 would work. Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe this is... Now that shouldn't affect NPCs, but... That would explain why I was almost killing these people while I was trying to capture them, too. So there's baby crocodiles we could capture if I wanted to maybe, uh... Put it on that corpse. If I wanted to... Well, I thought it was... Uh, raise some crocodiles. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Not terribly effective. get eaten. We'll get to see at least how hard that thing hits. How survivable it is. Alright. I realize you're at a disadvantage there being at half health. Attack it or what? It's not even attacking it. All right, time to get out of here. So if we kill that, there's another legendary chest right there. Hmm. Well, you know, nothing is saying that I have to... I have to only have three following me. So, like, I could take those three, turn them all into zombies, bring them over here, have them sit in the guard position, go back over here, grab three more, just stack 
a bunch of them on the defensive and then pull the, the monster into them maybe over top of some explosives? I don't know. Not gonna be too terrible. But at the same time, you know, it's gonna be a fight. But I feel like uh, a posse of level 20s is probably a pretty good fighting force against some of the big guys. But uh, we've got other things to do right now. Uh, let me drop off some of my unnecessaries here. Like that. Uh, that is alchemical junk. Uh, I guess I'll keep that in case I've... Nah. Well, I mean... So I would be keeping some of these just in case I find something that I want to to sacrifice, but I don't need the blood yet. In fact, it's, it's actually better to have it all over here waiting for me. And what is this black blood for? I don't know. So I don't need the Tome of Korak over here because we're not building a base, so I'll leave it here. What would the next one be? Demon blood, gray lotus powder. Where are the gray lotuses? I think they're in the jungle. All right, so that'll be that'll be a while. Let's see. Let's pop some of that. Pop some of that. Let's drop that. And now, where are we gonna go? Up in here. Suppose or, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's let the journey decide. Oh right, I was gonna do this raider armor, wasn't I? And the raider armor didn't work. I needed, uh, perhaps... No, it's not that. It's, uh, a Hercanian? Let's grab a Herca elephant hide. Is elephant hide over in the other place? Wait a minute, I don't have an elephant hide. I didn't kill one. Arg. Alright. What was the third one? The Kombujin didn't work. So Shemite. Do not know why it didn't work. There we go. Put that down. I could I could just disintegrate it actually. Um since I I'll just need the parts back. doesn't appear to give me... I don't know that it gave me anything. Um, okay. Anyway, so that's that done. The feel of your new armor makes you feel dangerous and fearless. They're going on a raid. Okay. So yeah, attuning the obelisk, surviving a purge, exploring the unnamed city. Why don't we actually do that? Let's go attune to an obelisk. We can do that, and then we can poke our head into the city. following me or did they stop to fight? I can't tell. I think the imps are following me. Looking to fight. Yes? Come along. Fighting?
Oh, one of them was the lamplighter, it looks like. Can I get you before you die? Yeah, I can. Watch where you are swinging, please. Okay, good. That'll help a little bit. Um, I mean, it, if, you know, I'm not really at the base long enough for it to be annoying, but... Having a, a lamplighter up in the northern base, perhaps, would be nice. You know? Oh, I should have... I should have tried to repair my weapon before going off here. Oh well, you live and learn, huh? While we're waiting, I think I've got a new couple levels. Looks like I've got one level. What can we get out of that? A new banner! Okay. That one goes to everything. Oh, well, it's free, too, so it doesn't even matter. Um, so I'm halfway there. There's 60 levels, and I'm halfway to my coins. So I think I should be able to get all of the next uh, season thing. Thing is, right, everything we see here is in is in a season. So like all this free stuff that I'm leaving here I will probably disappear when the season uh, goes over. So I like I don't know if this is going to come back around again. I would imagine, right? Like they probably got like four seasons. Well, what does 13 weeks break down into? Uh, they've probably got like four seasons um, and and that they rotate. But so like if I grab them now does that mean that when the season comes back around, they will be gone again, or what? I, I really hope they reverse that decision and make it so that it's it works like Ark, where every new character will have that unlocked for them, maybe with enough backlash they will. Really? We run through all the other monsters, and that's the one that you guys... Alright. So we don't have to fight our way through. We could, but we don't have to. What we can do instead is just pop on over here. I guess while we're here, too, we can go through these Darfari camps up here to complete the map a little bit better. First, let's go after what I'm after. Hyena pups. Lots of them. So we don't have to run through all the hyenas. Let's go this way. As so I run right by a hyena pack. How annoying. convinced that they'll survive, but uh, you're just leaving them to be. Good. A couple levels seem like it Easy for you, guys. Good. 
good, good. Now there was a much easier one that I could have gotten to. I'd have been there by now. It's over by the summoning place. But this gets us near the city too, so... Alright. So, I'm gonna try something here. For starters, all of you, stop following me for a moment. So normally, to get up here, you would have to climb the walls, but... Nope. <laughs> nope. Not that one. Uh, was it... I... God, I don't remember this one. Shoo! Shoo, yes. Bridge, yeah. Gaining corruption. Did I read this? I don't think I read this. Uh, attuned to an obelisk. Among the weathered stones of the exiled lands are obelisks that pulse with dark energy. Approaching them seems to sap at your will, but your bracelet seems to respond to the dark energy with a pulsing of its own. Touching your bracelet to an obelisk seems to activate it. Perhaps you can glean something from the interactions. All right, back we go. intensive there. All right. When you touched your bracelet to the obelisk, the patterns inscribed upon it seemed to burn themselves into your mind, along with a darker something, uh, something darker. You hope that whatever is hidden itself in the back of your mind will be useful. So I could actually sit in that if I wanted to increase my corruption. Did I read the thing about the city? The brooding black city haunts the corners of your vision, impossible to ignore it as a testament to the strength of the ancient culture that once ruled these lands, and the mystery of the bracelet that enslaves you probably has roots within the walls of that city. It is inevitable that your journey will bring you to the walk along those avenues of haunted cyclopean stone. Do you dare to tread where none has gone before in thousands of years? So... It's kind of a, ooh, ambiguous where this is in the world of... I left my companions. In the world of Conan. Um, just because of the architecture and the people and all that shit, uh, it's probably in Stygia. And... There we go. There is one... What are you doing? Get on him! In, there is one map that I have actually found uh, that shows what is possibly the location um, just at the outskirts of, of Stygia. Uh, because, uh, and I don't know when that map was created, but it, it does say... I don't think it says the unnamed city, but it's like... Uh, the, the un, unnamed citadel or, or something like that. It's close enough to be like, well, you know, this is probably where it is. The thing is, uh, about this game, they, you know, I mean, the fact that we go straight from this deserty biome right into, like, some Nordic hinterlands, um, it, it throws it off. And they tried to make it literal in the game, uh, you could just say, well, you know, it, it's kind of like World of Warcraft, where, like, you go through all these climate zones and, and biomes and stuff, um, just because it's a video game and it's it's the map, you know, the, the continents are huge. Uh, and so you could excuse that for being like, well, yes, actually, um, you know, this part is Stygia, and then this represents the, the northern lands and all that. But Funcom decided instead to make it quite literal, and uh, the reason for the desert 
is the sandstorm. Okay, we're here. Um, that it actually scoured the world and it all used to actually look green. There, here we go. Uh, and all that, which I think is a very, very stupid way of handling that. Because then it makes it harder to actually justify where it is in, in the world of Conan. Okay. Well, anyway, let me uh, grab this. You've seen the empty boulevards and shattered streets of the ancient city of the Giant Kings. Places where they held their human slaves, performed their sorcerous rituals, and even the archives where they keep the entire knowledge of their race. And the corruption of the ancient city yet lingers on your mind, clinging like a thin layer of grease on your consciousness. Yeah, so it used to be that even if you were just in the boundaries of it, you would gain corruption. That seems to have been limited. But here is something hidden. Jacquard is gone. Swallowed by the darkness and desolation. A winged demon screeches a haunting dirge as it flees with my companion towards the stars. Ever since we took our first steps into this city, we knew that something was waiting for us. The darkness is a tide, lapping at the shore of my sanity, eroding it. Blood seeps from wounds I didn't know I had. The ruins cast insane shadows on the landscape, and they cast a shadow on my mind. The past and the present run together in my mind, and I am a slave rushing to help my master, and I am a woman screaming in the ruins, and I am a god planning wars and wickedness, and I am a sandstorm scouring the lands, and I am myself alone. <laughs> So as you can see here, the uh, relic treasure hunter seekers are uh, quite difficult and probably would make very good thralls. They're quite tough. Okay, now we're getting close enough to gain corruption. That's all right. Uh, let's do a little swap here. Oh, good. She's a an archer. As long as we don't aggro those guys up there. Them, aren't we? Right. Well, go ahead and get this guy. And they will go attack him first, and maybe I can grab the archer who's in the middle here. Samara the Blade. We have a legendary weapon repair kit. That is excellent. We also have the Heart of a Hero. Elixir of Enduring. And some steel bars. Okay. Um. There we go. Relic Hunter Journal. Price has told me he stashed it behind the flame before he died. Great. Fantastic help you are. Where is that, then? Perhaps it's referring to this. Gold bar and some silver bar. It's all right. Oh, hello. <laughs> A little 
hard to do a shield bash when you don't have a shield. But it's also very hard to see without a light. Yes, we And the, the city, I think, also has a... Uh, take that. Has a, uh, like, a darkness filter anyway. So, you know, we attack the, the city in the dark. That's really smart of me. All right, let's get out of here for a moment. Back to the safety of Rosma's camp for a little bit, I guess. Guys, let's check this stuff out. Heart of the Hero. His heart was taken from the chest of one who once called themselves a hero. The definition shifts between cultures and locations, so being sure that one has captured the heart of a hero is a difficult business. Most sorcerers simply content themselves with trying out hundreds of hearts in the hopes the odds are on their side. Well, it's going to disappear, I think, before I can do anything with it, so I'm going to use it. And... to remove my corruption. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, I think it is a component for some things. I don't remember what offhand. And then what? This legendary weapon can repair, well, legendary weapons, so I guess when her blade wears down... Okay, so there's many places to be up here, but where we want to go is over here. So we're going to try and skirt this. There's some nasties. Like, for example, I'd like to avoid the dragons if I could. There's bats. Bat demons themselves are not too bad. They're not like the white, the white bat demon. And I have to admit, I've not spent a whole lot of time in uh, this city, Whoa. Um, so I have not explored all the hidden stuff, or if there is a lot of hidden stuff. I think, for example, actually, there might be something out there. we got to go through scorpions. All right. Now, I don't know if it's just me. Oh, boy. You guys took care of that one. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like on horseback, you also do more damage. And I could actually make a lance if I wanted to. Which would do, like, specific mounted damage. Sorcerer and some skeletons. Mr. Glowy Skeleton doesn't seem to have been doing anything there. It is kind of hard to come by. I'll just take it. It might be useful for sorceries later. Um, really? It's not a... I could have sworn there was something here before. Alright, well. Back to the map room. Skirting... Oh, Yes, let's skirt. Because... 
I'm missing one of the Ophirian uh, story pieces. I don't quite remember where it is, but I know it's along the walls. I think it might actually be uh, below me. I don't think it's up by the walls. I think it's actually down there somewhere. Might be mistaken on that one. Oh no. Are they not going to let me come down? Now we're going to take a little bit of damage. Just a little bit, though. Not bad. Oh, here it is. Right? Yeah. Right. We've set up temporary camp at the Black Walls. Even Braga seems taken aback by the ghostly sounds coming from within the ruins, and he is only slightly more expressive than the stone itself. I have firmly declared that I have no intention of exploring them. My companion sighed, sighed at my cowardice, but agreed to head further north. Perhaps we can find an opening in the wall that will not lead to certain death. That would be much preferred. Let's mark that, too. Okay. So theirs is a pretty linear story. You know, they start out over here, walk over here, come up the bridge, and then make their way here. All the others kind of bounce around. Hmm. This seems like a nice little protected place. Uh, I guess that's... That must be the entrance there. Is that just a bone? No, it's a stick. another story pillar around here. Who are you? I think it's Gilzon again. Good day, noble adventurer. I am Gilzon, treasure yeah. hunter and man of fortune. I don't know if he's meant to be if in two places or not. Avenues of this right. cursed city. What do you need? I need you to be quiet. Any time? It's weird. I don't have my map trigger yet. Let's ride down the road and see. This one is the slave road. I guess the talking stone isn't around here. It must be inside the walls a little bit closer. And there's the Imperial Highway. Alright, you know what? Since we're over here anyway, We'll bypass it. We'll just bypass it. And for now... now that, I mean, there's stuff in the city. For now, I'm just gonna go get the, the map. So I'm gonna leave my people over here. At the camp of uh, Mitra. I was hoping to run over it. No, no, no! What are you doing? Why the hell are you doing that?
was that noise? What was that noise? Why, why are you being aggressive? What the fuck? Alright, you guys, you're gonna have to come over here since you can't be sociable. Engage. Guard me only, please. Criminy. Away from them. Yeah, I'm not allowed to do that here. Alright, all of you, stop. And I really hope you're here when I come back. You know what? I got a better idea. Sorry we killed all your followers for no reason. Okay. I'm gonna have you guys guard here. That means they will not wander on their own. They will treat this as my territory. Until I come back. And there's the big dragon. Now that is a journey step. I've already killed it. Because I wanted to... Uh, wanted to get one of the, the dailies done. So we'll come back and kill it at some point. For real. Because it's... It is... Massive. Oh, fuck me. Did it find me already? I hope it stays there and doesn't wander over to my companions. It should be far enough away. But uh, I feel like that's going to be a really tough fight. And the thing is, there's more of them inside here. Uh, they're they're not uh, the three skulls. There are a couple, but most of them are just regular dragons. But I'm not worried about them right now. There's another obelisk. So, that obelisk is going to be guarded, potentially guarded by a dragon. There's a dragon that spawns up here. It does not appear to be there right now. So what I'm going to do is just beeline it straight for here to activate it. And make my way in here. Okay, I've only, only aggroed those guys, that's good. A g -g 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 ghost and a gigantic map. Nothing else. You have to get right up into his crotch to be able to talk to him. Can I not? Oh, there it is. Okay. It <laughs> they made it so you don't have to be so close right now. Do not be afraid. You just look at his crotch now when you talk to him. I am just a shadow. 
a whisper of what once was. Before the fall, when this kingdom raised knighted pillars of black stone to the sky, I was called the Archivist. Cartographer. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? There is only one chance, and a very slim one at that. You must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. The diadem of the giant kings, the mask of the witch queen, the tears of two races, the star of the champion, the heart of the sands, the shining trapezohedron, and the serpent ring of set. I fear I sent you an impossible quest, human. The diadem of the giant kings was once worn upon the brow of the priest king. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the north. More than that, I cannot say. The priest king was the most passionate and most volatile among us. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. The witch queen of Lemuria was our great enemy in the dying days of our race. Her people came to us as refugees, but even as they took our succor, they plotted our downfall. She was present at the creation of the bracelet, lending her power to ours. Her fate is unknown to me, but she always ruled from her city in the swamp to the east. The tears of two races were simple to obtain when we performed the ritual. We simply took our tears and combined them. But who is left to weep for both races? Although tales persist of Tyros the Deathbringer, he was born of both races. Our blood mingled with theirs. Perhaps his tears could be enough to fulfill the requirement. Obtaining them would be quite the feat. The Star of the Champion lies buried beneath the sands of the arena in the east. I remember well the day that Tyros killed the mighty dragon. He wept to defeat such a noble creature. He placed the star upon its brow. As far as I know, there it remains. The Heart of the Sands, or simply the Scourge Stone, was an artifact of power. The Priest King used it to create a weapon, the Sandstorm, that he swore would be our salvation. He gave it to the Warmaker to unleash upon our enemies. As far as I know, it was destroyed in the attempt. But perhaps the Warmaker has more insight. The Serpent Ring of Set. It was our most powerful artifact. It was kept in a tomb beneath this city. And then one day, a human came. He had all the words and signs of power. He passed through every ward and trap we had put in place. He took the serpent ring of set, and he left. If you wonder why you wear the bracelet, wonder no more. It must have been this man who called himself Tochamon. Dedicate yourself to recovering the other artifacts. You will not recover the serpent ring of set as long as you are trapped in this empire. Perhaps, perhaps it will be enough. When you have the artifacts, you must place them on the receptacle north of here. Once you have filled this vessel with the artifacts of power, it will create a keystone. To remove your bracelet, all that is required is to touch it with the keystone. And then, mortal, you will be free. But freedom will mean giving up all that these lands have come to offer you. So choose wisely. How did I die? I was betrayed by your kind, in a place called the Circle of Swords. I went in good faith to meet the Witch Queen. She had promised peace. I was cut down. My bones were left to rot in the wind. And yet, my spirit has always belonged to the Archives, human. And so, I am here. And here, I shall remain. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? There is only one chance, and a very slip. You return. 
Tell me of the things you have seen. Bring me back knowledge. All right. So before we go, uh, one last thing is this shelf right here, which we can interact with. In order to interact with it, we have to use, as this shows here, uh, fragments of power. You get those from killing special beasts, in particular special beasts in the city. However, uh, you get like one per beast, and they are completely random when you pick them from here. And there's 38 different recipes in here, I think. So, in the interests of expediency, we're going to come here to the admin panel, and we're going to look for these, and I'm going to give myself a hundred of them, and then we're just going to do that, and get one scroll. I have seen many things in these lands, Exile. Know that these tomes contain some of my more esoteric finds, some awe-inspiring, and yet others awful. Access to this library can only be obtained by the offering of one of many fragments spread across the city. Find them, bring them here, and the knowledge shall be yours. So, I'm going to uh, just sit here and keep getting them, and uh, I'll have a whole bunch ready to go next time. I'll go back, grab my companions, and I think I'll take them back to... I'll well, take them back to here, I guess, in anticipation of coming along here and checking this part out next time. And then uh, might be able to get this area next time. I'd like to. I'd like to take on the black ship, actually. So maybe we can path our way there to the black ship. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because we can't really do much here. Uh, there's another companion I'd like to grab from here, but you know, I mean, unless one of them dies, there's no really need for that. Unless I want to maybe put them at each of the the um, uh, bases, so I can just teleport around and pick up new. Ooh, hold on a minute. We're experiencing a sandstorm. Okay. I'm gonna put on the sandstorm mask. Sandstorm? I'm in the sandstorm. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> They're just so rare, I didn't want to have to wait. So if you don't have this mask on, uh, it'll do damage. And it's pretty bad. Hmm. Interesting. Even when I'm down in here, it's, it's saying I'm still in the sandstorm. Okay, I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.